So tell me how you got involved in roller derby. Uh, I was living in Canmore and I saw a recruitment poster just at the local grocery store and I thought, yep, that's going to happen. That's, <laughs> that's me. I want to be involved in that. The local men's team started hassling me to come and play with them and I eventually succumbed to peer pressure and said, sure, I'll uh, come and skate. Some people come from hockey, have that skating background. A lot of people have never been involved in an organized sport before and we're really uh, all-encompassing and inclusive of everyone who wants to join and play and get better. Yeah, the first time I put skates on was then, so like May of 2011. And this is the first sport that I've played since I was in grade two. So that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. And what's the experience been like for you? Uh, it's been fantastic. I mean, uh, you get to learn new skills, you meet a lot of people. Um, you're mostly just learning a lot of stuff. Like I said, I've never played team sports before, so learning how to deal with a bunch of different people and personalities is, is something that's fairly interesting. We call it uh, the deer in the headlights uh, symptom of rookies. The first bout you're involved in, it's it's, there's so much going on and there's so much strategy and so, so many things happening. Situations constantly changing on the track and there's a lot to think about. So yeah, there's big eyes and shocked expressions and <laughs> but they'll eventually get into it. And we have a lot of senior skaters that help too. This is definitely a place where if you uh, consider yourself boring in your quote unquote normal life, uh, this is definitely something where you can kind of let loose and develop uh, a whole other personality, which is one of the one of the draws to it for sure. Uh, you get to pick a new name, and you get to kind of do whatever you want, and that might not necessarily reflect uh, who you are day to day. So it's it's kind of interesting to be able to create uh, a persona for this particular sport. Flat Track Fever is uh, Alberta's largest roller derby tournament. This is its third year. Uh, it's hosted by Chinook City Roller Derby, our league. It's taking place this year, Friday, May 23rd, through till Sunday, May 25th. Uh, bouts are running all day long. Uh, the first whistle starts at 9 a.m. And it's going to be seven men's teams, seven women's teams. This tournament is taking place at the George Blunden and Optimist Arenas. Uh, it's a city-owned arena. Really gaining speed all over Canada. Alberta, I think, has the most leagues in, in a province in Canada. I think the, the increase in, in popularity is due to the accessibility of flat track roller derby. Uh, back in the day, the bank tracks were, I mean, you, you, it cost a lot of money to put one of those up, and so not everyone had access to that sort of venue. Now with flat track roller derby, it can be in a school gym, it can be in a, you know, a hockey arena without the ice, it can be kind of anywhere, it can be on the road. Play for a few different teams, so it takes up a lot of my time, I love it. Totally worth it.